the last five years or so, my vision has gone down. I can't see the expressions on my grandkids' faces or anybody else's expressions. I was just sort of getting myself used to the idea, not being able to see in the same way that I've been used to all my life. And it's, it's pretty depressing. I've been studying retinal processing for more than 40 years, and I have a deep understanding of how the visual process works. The virtual reality world was so advanced, so well developed, the tools and the hardware were already available. We don't have any device like the Vision Eyes. There's a couple of others that exist, but it's still really cutting edge technology. And the stuff that does exist that's out there is like three, four times the price. I've had more than one patient say, my goodness, I can see that face across the room. I haven't seen anything quite like it before. This is a device that can allow you to do things that you never thought you could do. It's, it's groundbreaking. Having the device really changed my life. It was as if the whole world opened up to me. It was incredible to be able to see the masters again, Van Gogh in Amsterdam and Picasso in Paris. And it's like getting back a part of my life that is incredibly important to me. I honestly don't think I would want to be without them. My objective is to get this to as many people as possible. And for me, this is just the beginning.